bass, hop like this to the bass, hop like this to the bass, hop like this to the bass. Well, hello, hello, hello. If you can't tell, I am not a beautiful woman. Uh, and my name is definitely not Nikki. This is not a beautiful woman either, and he's definitely not Nikki. He's a lot older than Nikki. I think he's older than most folks, as a matter of fact. You're at level LOL with Miss Nikki. You've got Todd here sitting in place for her today. And uh, I've got a friend of mine here from uh, the band, Todd and the Ten Pins. It happens to be my band. Uh, we're going to be playing at 7620 West Irving Park Road. That's a newbie's bar, October the 31st. This is my buddy Johnny B., John Benares. How are you, John? Pretty good. How you doing? Good, good. I'm glad that you're here. Miss Nikki said she couldn't make it and said, Todd, I'd like you to go sit in. And, you know, I, I got to tell you, my ADD kicked in and there were so many different things I wanted to talk about. And I said, you know what? Let's just play some music. We'll do a little bit of chatting. We'll have some fun. It's the first time since uh, the old slam days that when I was on the radio asylum that we've actually done this. So I'm really, really excited to be here. Uh, we're going to do some music. We're going to do a little bit of talking in the hour. Uh, I do want to go over a couple of things that happened over the weekend. And uh, we're just glad that you had us here. And, and I'm glad to see Earl in his smiley, shiny face today. And uh, we're going to have a great day. We're going to have a great day. So you want to start doing a song? I don't know. I was thinking about it. We, you know, we were practicing that one song. Should we start with that? or? Let's start with something else. All right. What do you want to start with? You pick. You're the guitar uh, player. I, do, I'm just a singer. We could do Beatles. We want to do Beatles? Beatles? What do you want to do by the Beatles? Let's see that. I mean, we got, fi we got 53,000 songs in this catalog of ours. I'm going to take a drink of water, by the way. Earl, don't throw tomatoes. If I sing out of key, I apologize. It's a Sunday. I've been yelling at children and women all day long. What are you thinking there, John? Uh, if we want to do Beatles, we could do All My Loving. Um, we do Can't Buy Me Love. Or we could do some Mellencamp. We could do Mellencamp. Which one would you like to do by Mellencamp? So Let's do Hurt So Good. I'm going to cheat <coughs> and clear my throat on the radio. <coughs> by the way, do you see yourself right there? We're on the camera. Wave hi to everybody out there. All right. I'm trying to smile. And we don't swear here. This is definitely not. we we got to be good boys and girls today. All right. Let's do it. Songs called Hurt So Good. When I was a young boy, said put away those young boy ways. Now that I'm getting so much older, will I long for those young boy days with a girl like you? With a girl like you. Lord knows there are things we can do, baby. Just for me and you, come on and make it hurt, hurt so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Sometimes love don't feel like it should. You make it hurt so good. Now that's nice. You don't have to be so excited. Just trying to give yourself a little bit of fun, yeah You always look so inviting You ain't as green as you are young Hey baby, it's you Come on girl, now it's you Sink your teeth right through my bones, baby Let's see what we can do Come on and make it hurt Hurt so good Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Sometimes love don't feel like it should. You make it hurt so good. I ain't talking no big deals. I ain't made no plans myself. I ain't talking no high heels. Maybe we could walk around all day long. Walk around all day long Ugh. Hurt so good Come on, baby Come on, baby Make it hurt so good Sometimes love don't feel like it should You make it hurt so good All right. That was fun, man. 
This is Jonathan Benares right here, by the way, everybody that's listening. That is some sweet guitar playing. So, you know, that's one of my favorite songs. It's a simple song. He's a simple guy. He's from the Midwest, from Indiana. You know, is it Farm Aid? Have you ever been to Farm Aid? I've seen it on TV. It's very cool. Earl, have you ever done Farm Aid? Seen it? No. It's pretty cool. There is a lot of money for people that already have a lot of money, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, it's still it's still a good cause. They do a lot of good things. Uh, you know, we were talking a little bit in the car coming here. I want to just share this with some folks. This is one of my guitar players, and we are kind of polar opposite when it comes to the political spectrum and view. Uh, I'm what you call a leaning left liberal, sort of. And, and John's kind of a conservative, but the conversations that we've always had, and I've had him here with Miss Nikki before in the past, is I believe, at least here in Illinois, that everybody's more in the middle. The problem you have nowadays is that people are a little bit too far to left, too far to right, and then the crazies got to start talking. You and I get along very well, and our right. politics are not that different. Right. I'm going to vote for Bernie, and you're not. But still, that's okay. Right. I mean, it's, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Um, what do you think about, about that part of it? We're going to play another song in a minute here. I just want to get, you know, so the folks that haven't heard us in a long time that are out there, and, you know, what do you think about the, the, the candidates that are running this year? There's no one that I, that I like, per se. There's people that I don't like out there. But the, the problem that you've got, is, in my view, is that... Um, no one is really offering any solutions. And the guy that is, you still don't like him because he's just... Well, he's offering solutions, and he's... The thing that I told you that I like about Bernie Sanders is he is... Um, he has some integrity compared yeah. to some of the other candidates out there. The other ones seem to all have an agenda, and I think that's probably true of all politicians. They all have an agenda, and if they don't have an agenda... They eventually get one when they get in. Well, it's interesting uh, because, you know, the reason why I'm such a big fan of Bernie is because he's been uh, the same guy for the last 30 years. Nothing's really changed. And if you want to know about a platform, and, and you know, politics is a pl you, you have a platform. What is the platform you have? You know his platform. You know the programs he wants. You know how he's going to plan on paying for them. And he flat out says it. I'm going to tax the rich. Now, you go into it a little bit more. Is it just the 1%? No. He's not going to just do the 1%. I... I don't know if taxing the rich, quote unquote, is the answer to everything, uh, but I do think that flat taxing people is not good either. I, I think that a flat tax um, shows a lot of economic imbalance from the bottom up. I mean, well, what, do you, what do you think about that? The thing that I, I that I believe, and I think most people that are that are friends of mine, like like you, that consider themselves liberals or, or to, to the left, in my view, they kind of confuse liberalism or progressiveness with compassion. Sure. In other, words, in other words, they see something wrong and they feel that the government is the avenue to fix that. Well, it, it's not, it's not exact. Here's the thing. I, it's, it's a terrible way to give the analogy. And then we're going to play another song, by the way. Right. Um, but I do believe that I am my brother's keeper. I always have and I always will. And the right. reason for that, simply, the function of government is not just to build bridges and repair Infrastructure, which, by the way, they're not doing a very good job right. of. Uh, so that's number one. Uh, number two, though, is that we pay into these programs that are out there, right? And what they call entitlements. We should, excuse my exp explanation, should be entitled to get the benefits that we pay for. Now, does it mean that I should live on these things my whole life? No. That's where I'm a little bit different than most liberals. I don't. I believe that when you give somebody water. They're never going to go out and find it on their own they're, you know, because they think that they're never going to be thirsty. But if you teach them how to find it, then they don't have to rely on you to give it to them all the time. Right. So there's got to be a way, and, and my good old buddy Billy, uh, my favorite president ever, uh, Mr. Bill Clinton, um, he had a policy that was out there that never made it through the House. It, it, it was the Welfare to Work program. Well, again, the, the problem is, is that the, the ideas that they come up with, whether it's Great Society or New Deal or... Uh, if, they're, if we're talking about single payer, I, I understand what the goals are, and the mm -hmm. goals are are admirable. The problem is, is that they they come up with these ideas, and the people who actually need the money never quite get it. No, that's true. They, they never quite get it, and you know the 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 people who are against you know the free market, they call it they call it trickle down economics, which doesn't work. Which again, it depends what you're you know we're talking about semantics here, but you know you could go the opposite and say, well, trickle down government. We send all this money to Washington, right? And it comes back, part of it comes back, and it comes back with, with strings attached to it, and it never quite gets to the people that actually need it. Now, it gets to a lot of people who don't need it. Sure. And that's, that's where the problem lies. So 
I'm not, you know, when I say I'm a conservative, it isn't that I, I lack compassion, okay? I believe that solutions need to be done more on the local level. Uh, that's why we have charitable institutions. That's why we have churches that are supposed to do what they're supposed to be doing. And we have communities who do things within their own community for themselves. In other words, if you have homeless homelessness problem in your community, then that community takes care of it. You don't say to Washington, okay, fix my homelessness problem that's here in Chicago. No, let's keep the money here and let's try to fix it locally. Well, see, here's the fun part. Since I get to run the show today, I get the last word on this one, <laughs> and then we're going to move on. But how much did it cost for the Benghazi hearings? It's a little bit over $4.8 million, right? Yeah. How many poor people would that have fed? I, we could say that. I digress. Yeah. I digress. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> sorry. Um, you know, we've, we've done an acoustic version of this song before, yeah, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we could or, or was it White Wedding? Uh, we could do Probably this is easier. All right. You want to give it a shot? Sure. Hey, Earl, do you know who Billy Idol is? Well, we're going we're gonna to ruin one of his songs right now. Uh, 7620 West, uh, West Irving, we're going to be there. This is an acoustic version of Rebel Yell. Uh, we haven't done this since last year, so this will be interesting to see how this goes. Last night a little dancer came dancing to my door Last night a little angel came pumping across my floor She said, come on baby, I got a license for love And if it expires, pray help from above Because in the midnight hour, she cried more, more, more with a rebel yell, more, more, more. Wow, in a midnight hour, babe, more, more, more. With a rebel yell, more, 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 more. She don't like slavery, she won't sit and bear. But when I'm tired and lonely, she sees me to bed. What set you free and brought you to here, babe? What set you free? I need you here by me. Because in the midnight hour, she cried more, more, more. With a rebel yell, more, more, more. In the midnight hour, baby, more, 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 with a rebel yell, more, 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 more. He lives in his own heaven. Collects it to go from a 7-Eleven Well, he's out all night to collect it fare oh, Just so long, just so long, it don't miss off his hair <laughs> I walk the wall with you, babe Acoustically, there's no solo. A thousand miles with you. Well, I dried your tears of pain, babe. For money to burn for you. Well, I'd sell my soul to you, babe. For money to burn for you. I gave the chicken all and had none, babe. Just a, just a, just a, just a, to have you here by me. Because in the midnight hour, she cried more, more, more. With a rebel yell, more, more, more. Wow! In the midnight hour, babe, more, more, more. With a rebel yell, more, 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 more. 
she want more 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 we'll be right back turn it up Fatigua entertainment yeah, yeah. the company that knows how to party every event from weddings to birthdays we have the djs and mcs to rock your crowd we have the sound and light show to make it huge. And we have the talent and experience to always get it right. We are the party experts. You already know. Hit them with it. Antiqua Entertainment. Do you need a cake for your event, function, or fundraiser? Or how about some cupcakes just because? Jam and Cakes is your connection. Handcrafted custom cakes, cupcakes, and other baked goods are fresh and delicious. Whether it's allergies or gluten-free, Jam and Cakes will adjust the recipe. All menu items can be made gluten-free upon request for an additional charge. You can email Jam and Cakes at j.rosario60651 at gmail.com with any questions regarding allergies, orders, or information about Jam and Cakes. Like Jam and Cakes on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Jam and Cakes. J A M M I N C A K E S. The weekend is near. Your event is around the corner. You need to look your best. Let Marquin Salon help you look good. They create everyday art with their clients' hair. Located at 2157 West Division Street on the southeast corner of Levitt and Division by St. Mary's Hospital. Marquin Salon is open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Sundays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and they are closed on Saturdays. Marquin Salon, where first-time customers get 25% off of all services. Like them on Facebook, facebook.com slash Marquin Salon, M-A-R-Q-U-I-N-S-A-L-O-N. Follow Marquin Salon on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. To make an appointment, call 773 773- 782-8477. That's 773-782-8477. For questions and info, you can email Marquin Salon at M-A-R-Q-U-I-N-S-A-L-O-N at gmail.com. Get your insurance policy reviewed. The ladies at American Family Insurance will review and explain policy coverages, limits, and what they mean so you can be sure you are properly protected, exactly as you like and need. The Anna Herambastic Agency has been awarded year after year for providing excellent customer service, whether it's auto, motorcycles, or life and home. Anna's agency deals with them all. Call Anna or Wendy today for your free insurance review at 773 794 9200. That's 773-794-9200. Like them on Facebook, facebook.com slash A-H-A-G-E-N-C-Y. They speak English, Spanish, and Croatian. And here we only speak English, of course. I, I can speak a little bit of Pig Latin, but it's not very good. Uh, by the way, uh, we are here. This is LOL with Miss Nikki. I'm not Miss Nikki again, but you know, I'm, you, you got to deal with me. Uh, this is Todd from Todd of the Ten Pins. I've got my buddy John Benares here, and we were just doing some songs, talking a little politics, having some fun. And you know what I used to like to do in my shows, and I'm going to give the number out if you'd like to call in. Be nice, by the way. Um, you feel free to do so. The number here is 708-223-8953. Once again, that number is 708-223-8953. You're calling Intellectual Radio. And uh, I want to just say everything for those of you that are watching on the website. If you haven't noticed, I have a nice insignia on my shirt, uh, and so does John. John has an insignia, insignia on his as well. And we know that our uh, other beloved team, uh, for some, uh, on the north side, uh, I happen to be a north sider, by the way, um, didn't make it this year. And, you know, I thought it'd be good to have like a little, uh, intro, uh, ret- well, whatever. What, what, what are your thoughts on the Chicago Cubs uh, playoff run? I, um, I grew up a north sider Sox fan, like it sounds like you did too. Yeah. So that's something we have in common. But, uh, and I grew up hating the Cubs as, a, as an adversary. Mm-hmm. But, when we won the World Series in 2005, that the edge of that kind of came off. So I can't say that I was actively rooting against them. 
And I wouldn't have mind if they would have won. I would have been okay with it. See, that, that, that's the thing here. I, I was brought up in a family. My father was a White Sox fan. Uh, my mother was a Cub fan. Everybody on my mother's side is are Cub fans, and most of the people on my dad's side are Cub fans. Uh, so I like I like both teams. I'm one of those guys that I don't get the whole thing about. Uh, about well, you can't like them both. It's different leagues. The American League and the National League, uh, they don't play each other. Well, you know, they play each other, but it doesn't really matter. The other thing, the, the reason why I, I, I went, went more towards the White Sox is because I went to more games, honestly. And, you know, for a little while I was a Cub hater. And the only reason why is because when the, when the White Sox went to the World Series in 2005, which is less than 100 years ago, by the way, uh, <laughs> the, uh, we had, I had friends of mine and family that were rooting against the team they, they want them to lose. Right. And I, it's not so much I don't like the Cubs. I, there's a lot of Cubs fans out there that I don't like. They think they know everything about everything. Um, you know, my cousin's got it right. One, one of my cousins has got it right. He, he's not a Sox fan, but he won't root against them. Right. You know, that, that's the way it should be. I'm a, I'm a Sox fan first. I really would love to see the Cubs for my mother, for my cousins, for my whole family. It would be nice to have another winning team in the city because the Sox aren't going to win anything for a while. That's and God knows the Bears are in a lot of trouble. The Blackhawks, who knows? Uh, the Blackhawks have a lot of uh, – well, never mind. I want to go well, there. Well, there was a bar on Western Avenue in Beverly called McNall McNally's. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've ever heard of it yeah. or not. They were giving out free beers every time the Cardinals got a home run. It's ridiculous. You know, that it's to dumb. Me is, that goes a little bit on the other side of it. Why don't you just close up shop now? I mean, I, honestly, you're, you're segregating your customer base. Right. If you're a Cub fan, don't ever come to my bar. There are more Cub fans. I hate to say this. There are more Cub fans than there are Sox fans right. in the city of Chicago. Right. Now, if you go to Florida, where a bunch of the older people are, there might be a little bit different. But, well, enough of that nonsense. I want to sing some more. Okay. You want to hear another song, Earl? Yep. Sign. Show me where to look, tell me what will I find, what will I find Lay me on the ground, fly me to the sky Show me where to look, tell me what will I find, what will I find Yeah Yeah. Oh, oh, heaven let your light shine down. 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 Hey. Love is in the water, love is in the air Show me where to go, tell me will love be there Will love be there Teach me how to speak, teach me how to share Tell me where to go, tell me will love be there Will love be there Yeah Heaven let your light shine down. Oh, oh, heaven let your light shine down. Oh, oh, heaven let your light shine down. Oh, oh, heaven let your light shine down. Oh, that's right, there's no solos and acoustics. Here we go. Give me a word, give me a sign. Show me where to look, tell me what will I find. What will I find? Lay me on the ground, fly me in the sky. Show me where to look, tell me what will I find. What will I find? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's it's a, it's it's fun doing it with it, it, we with our girls are in here. You know, it's but you're doing well. Thank you. You're doing well. Doing bad yourself. I know. Every once in a while, I, I I get you know it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little Altoid here. Is that okay with you? All the guitar picks. Oh, those are all darn it. I was gonna clear the sinuses. I, 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 I feel I feel nasally. I feel nasally. This is my guitar pick. Thank you, sir. I feel I feel a little verklempt. So, so, 7620 West Irving Park Road. Since I'm here, I'm going to promote our gig, Newbies. We're going to release a CD on Saturday. And Miss Nikki will be at this gig. She's going to actually come out and do some comic relief uh, in the middle of our gig. And uh, I'm looking really, really forward to having her. Uh, so if you're not doing anything Halloween after the kids are done trick-or-treating and, you know, after you're done eating your pizza and watching scary movies, come on out and see the band. We go on at 9 o'clock. Miss Nikki will come on for comic relief probably around 10, 1030. And then we'll play our second set. We'll be on until about 1. Uh, it'll be fun. We do about 41 songs. Uh, after that, I can't talk. Uh, but, you know, it's, 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 I have a hard enough time completing sentences when I'm not singing. So, you know, it's interesting. Uh, but we do a lot of different things. So, you know, we've done some shine. Um, how do you feel about a little bit of shut up and dance? Just a little snippet. What do you think? You think it's possible? You do it. Everything's possible. No, you don't, you don't look positive about it, though. You don't look positive. Are you not positive? Let's not, you know, if we're not positive, we'll move on. We'll move on. I don't I know. We should try pick a Beatles song. Pick a Beatles tune? Earl, you like the Beatles? Love the Beatles. Which, which one you want to do? I like All My Love, but you seem to have <clears throat> All My Loving? So are we going to do, do the original version? Or yes. We, see, because I wrote, I, we, we, we've, we've done our own little, <laughs> uh, you know, broken hearted version. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works. 90% of the time it Usually doesn't work. Works. No, it doesn't normally work. Yeah. People look at us like we're sick, and we, you know, it's because I am. <laughs> but um, let's do All My Loving. Why not? Right. Let, me take a little, let me take a little drink of this water here. <clears throat> wow. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day. And I'll send all my loving to you. I'll pretend that I'm kissing the lips I am missing and hope that my dreams will come true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day and I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. As you can see, there is a solo to this song. That's right. Which is why Johnny B wanted to play it. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll write home every day, and I'll send all my loving to you. All my loving I will send to you. All my loving, darling, I'll be true. All my loving, all of my loving. All of my loving, I will send you. That was all right. It's okay. That was all right. It's a little different acoustically. Yeah, you know, it's interesting how it works with acoustic music because you can't make any mistakes. And I got a mint in my mouth, so I'm probably lisping a little bit, which is just <laughs> fine. I'm gonna close your eyes and I'll miss you. Um, are we dressing up for this thing or what? I think you guys, you know, the, the you guys, no, 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 the singers. No, no. I mean, we we'll, should be like, we should be like zombies or something in the background, and you mm -hmm. guys could be whatever you want to be. Seven zero eight two two three eight nine five three. If you have any suggestions on what a rock band should dress up as at a gig at Newbies at seventy six twenty West Irving Park Road, we're also going to be at a bar called Gray Street Tap on November the twenty eighth. That's Thanksgiving gig, man. Right. That's also my birthday, so we need to come out and celebrate that stuff. But um, should we try the new song? Yeah. I'm going to just chew this mint here real quick. 
And I'm having fun. Are you having a good time? Yeah. I got to tell you, I miss doing this. It's been, we used to do a little two hour show and um, act ridiculous, and we had little bits that, you know, Earl would probably kick me out of here if I ever tried. You know, <laughs> if you picture if I bought Fa Father Flugger in here, that'd be a bad thing for everybody. That would be bad, bad, bad. It's warmer in here. It's, it, well, it's warmer. It doesn't smell like a sewer. <laughs> it's amazing how different it is here. Um, you know, no, no, no disrespect. I mean, that was one of my buddies, but. Um, you know, I, I miss that part of it because we used yeah. to be, we had a half hour's worth of bits and we took calls and God, I miss it, I miss it, I miss it. Like I said, if you want to call in and you want to be nice, it's seven zero eight two two three eight nine five three. You're on LOL with Miss Nikki on Intellectual Radio. Um, this is a song and I have to cheat because I don't know the words by heart. Um, and I don't even know if I can sing the song to be quite honest with you, but we're about to find out. Yeah. Um, live and in color. Uh, the song is by a band called <clears throat> what is their name? Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. That's right. So I don't know if you heard this, Earl. They've been fighting for years, twenty years, as a matter of fact. I think the last time they played together, Axel and Slash and Duff and what was the drummer's name that had a drug problem that was on Celebrity Rehab? Uh, I don't remember, but he's yeah. Well, they just couldn't get they couldn't get along very well. This is a problem. Put the book in there, so it's kind of angled up a little bit. All right, we can do that. I can see a little bit. Like I mean, that? Like, more like, like that? Kind of Is like it going to work? It won't work. There you go. It'll work. It'll start. All right. So, anyways. Thank you for distracting my story. I appreciate okay, that. No problem. Um, you know, anytime you, you know, Todd, shut up. Um, but they offered the band five hundred million dollars to go back on tour, and now all of a sudden, Axel, five hundred million. So now Axel and uh, Axel and Slash are getting along again. So I guess it's five hundred million dollars that it takes to repair a friendship, huh? For those of you out here I haven't seen in a while, all it takes is coming out to my gig on uh, Halloween. Come see me and Miss Nikki, and we'll love you. I'll even buy you a drink. I'm gonna take a drink while he strums here. Man, that's nice. Do you play guitar all the time? Once a while. <clears throat> okay, here we go. You ready? Patience. I shed a tear cause I'm missing you I'm still alright to smile Girl, I think about you every day now There was a time when I wasn't sure But you set my mind at ease There is no doubt you're in my heart now Said woman, take it slow, it'll work itself out fine. All we need is just a little patience. Said sugar, make it slow and come together fine. All you need is just a little patience. Get the axle thing going. Patience. I sit here on the stairs cause I'd rather be alone If I can't have you right now, I'll wait then Sometimes I get so tense, but I can't speed up the sign You know love, there's one more thing to consider Woman, take it slow Things will be just fine You and I just use a little patience Said sugar, take the time And the lights are burning bright You and I got what it takes to make it We won't fake it I'll never break it Cause I can't take it Little patience Yeah oh, Just a little patience Well I've been walking the streets at night Trying to get it right It's hard to say with so many around I don't like being stuck in the ground But the streets don't change, baby, the name I ain't got time for the pain I need you I need you There's time if you want to hear the high parts, you got to come to the gig. 
You like that? Yeah. <laughs> that's fun, man. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Is, am I going to burn myself? With, oh, no, it's not. I thought that. Like what is this in here? It it's is. a ball. Like a hacky. Oh, it's a SpongeBob ball. SpongeBob. Very cool. That was fun. That yeah, was good. I just have to figure out how I'm going to get to that crescendo up there. To, I can do it, but not now. Yeah. Maybe later. Maybe at 7620 like West Road. I do too. We're going to play with that a little bit. Power, more the power. We're going in the studio tomorrow. We get to press our CD. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to have our electric guitars going. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I just want to. Uh, well, we, we're working on it now. We're basically a cover band currently. Um, we've been screwing around with a couple little bluesy things. Uh, but they're not, they're nowhere near ready yet. Not yet. Not yet. Do you, you think they're ready yet? I don't think they're ready. I want to do one more song. We've got about 15 more minutes. It's been so uh, much fun. and Yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. Should, should we do a ballad? Which one? Are you going to be able to do it, though? Which one? Oh, now and forever? We could do it. Should we, like do it? we want to do it. We want to do a ballad? Let's do a ballad. Ballads yeah, are always fun. kind of a ballad, wasn't it, Patience? Well, it's kind of a ballad, but we play a little quicker than a ballad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will this work for you if I do it like that? That's fine. Hey, SpongeBob, don't move. Sorry, SpongeBob, before, move. That's because I did it. Look at that. No, it's not going to stay. It's not going to stay. This one right here? There See this? Go. Earl knows everything. <laughs> I'm just, I, you know, I just talk a lot. That's all right. Here you go. There you Is go. that Perfect. good? Did that work Perfect. for you? Perfect. Now, let me tell a little background story in this song. God, I'm nasally. Unbelievably nasally. Um, this is actually Richard Marks is a Chicago guy. I don't know if anybody knows that. He lives in St. Charles, uh, writes all his own music, sings very well. Heard him live one day, heard him sing this song, and uh, watched a lot of women melt. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> but, you know, it's always fun. Women actually put their tops on when he starts singing. <laughs> no, who, me? <laughs> actually, no, that happens quite a bit. Older ladies, though, they like to take them off. The younger ones put them back on. You guys know who you are, too. You know who you are. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is now forever by Richard Marks. Whenever I'm weary from the battles that rage in my head, you make sense of madness when my sanity hangs by a thread. I lose my way, but still you seem to understand now and forever. I will be your man. Sometimes I just hold you. Too caught up in me to see I'm holding a fortune That heaven has given to me I'll try to show you You always do that to me Let's do that again I'll try to show you each and Every way I can Now and forever I will be your man Now I can rest my worries And always be sure That I won't be alone anymore If I'd only known you were there all the time. You know, every once in a while, man meets a woman. Sometimes things work out very well. Sometimes they don't. Good news is when you come back around to the other side, <laughs> you always get to try again. And that's the fun part. Until the day the ocean doesn't touch the sand Now and forever I will be your man Now and forever 
I will be your man. Ooh. Wow. I'm tired. That was tough. That's fun though. That's fun. I wrote the banter in the middle of the song. You get that? It was pretty cool. It's a man and a woman. See, now girls are taking their tops off as we speak at home <laughs> right now and running to throw up. That's exactly what's happening. I'm telling you. So, look, we've had some fun. We've got about 10 minutes left, and we haven't done any cheap trick. I'm really hurt about that. Well, we haven't done cheap trick. We haven't done. We have. We haven't. What else haven't we done? We can't do Tush acoustically, right? Not really. That would be funny. Rock and roll all night, you can't do acoustically. Uh, you could, but not us. Could, it um, it good it's My Life? You know, I was just looking at the catalog. There's so many songs here, I get confused sometimes. I know, we do have a lot now. We do. 7620 was Serving Park Road. Stagger Lee's too... Uh, yeah. yeah. You know Stagger Lee? No. Which one? Stagger Lee. Uh, no. Um, Stand By Me? How about Eagles? We could do Kryptonite. Kryptonite? Yeah. All right, hold on, because I don't know the words by heart yet, you know, because I'm not, I don't have beer in me. You know, normally I have beer in me at the shows. It's interesting. You don't need to, you can do it, can you do this with your eyes closed? I took a walk around the world to ease my troubled mind. I left my body lying somewhere in the sands of time. I watched the world float to the dark side of the moon. I feel there's nothing I can do. Oh. Yeah, it's got a bounce to it. I watch the world float to the dark side of the moon After all I knew it had to be something to do with you I really don't mind what happens every now and then As long as you'll be my friend to the end If I go crazy then will you still call me Superman If I'm alive and well will you be there Holding my hand, I'll be you by my side, my superhuman might, kryptonite. Woo! You call me strong, you call me weak, but still your secrets I will keep. You took for granted all the times I never let you down. You stumbled again and bumped your head. If not for me, then you'd be dead. Picked you up and put you back on solid ground. If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive and well, you be there holding my hand. I'll bring you back. By my side, my superhuman might, kryptonite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> the, the abridged version, right? There you go. That was fun. So, all right, so we've done this before. Miss Nikki's going to have us back again. Um, I want to bring the band out here one day. I think that'd be good good times to do. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, we'll be back. Uh, we're trying to find a time frame that works. Unfortunately, I have a job. Well, not unfortunately. I, I, I work during the day, and uh, Earl's booked up tight. Uh, but, you know, we'll be back here. I'm, I'm ready to roll, man. My characters are ready to come back out. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Terrence, who's not here with me today, uh, I had to tell him to stay home because we were a little worried because we started working on a bit, and the bit was filthy. Bit was absolutely filthy. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Surprising. So we had to clear. We we're going to work on cleaning it up, and, and hopefully Miss Nikki will let us let us do that at some point. But uh, we're going to go out with uh, one more tune, and uh, this is one that John likes to play. Um, this is Stand By Me, and I want to thank you guys, Earl. I want to thank you for your hospitality and letting us be here today. And uh, Intellectual Radio, thank you for having me. I, I know I'm not as pretty as Miss Nikki, but it was a good time, folks. And we'll see you guys in the funny papers. When the night has come 
and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see no i won't be afraid no i won't be afraid just as long as you stand stand by me so darling darling stand by me oh stand by me oh stand stand by me stand by me if the sky we look upon should tumble and fall or the mountain should crumble to the sea i won't cry i won't cry no i won't shed a tear just as long as you stand stand by me so darling darling stand by me oh stand by me oh stand stand by me stand by me whenever you're in trouble won't you stand by me oh stand by me oh stand now oh stand stand by me all right so Johnny, thank you for coming out here tonight. We are gonna we we got we we I said we we're gonna go go out in a bang here. We got I know we got about five minutes left here, Earl. I don't want to leave you in a lurch. We got five minutes, so uh, let's do a little bit of chatting here. So you know we like to we like to do music from all kinds of different walks of life here. We're doing wow. That was listen. The good Lord is shining upon us right now. I'm telling you right now. He was so amazed by that performance that he is shining on me. Um, wow. But it, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, you had a good time? I had a great time. I did awesome. too. I'm blind, but now I, yeah, I can't see now. But I, I, had a, I had a great time. This was awesome. It's, it's, you know, I, I, it takes a while to get the radio chops back, uh, but we had a good time, and I'm sure we will be back here very, very soon. Uh, Miss Nikki, wherever you are, God bless. I hope you're having a good time tonight because I know you've got some stuff going on, and we're going to tell some jokes on uh, Saturday. I'm not because whenever I tell jokes, the band gets mad at me. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's a terrible thing when I tell jokes. Uh, but we're going to be at 7620 West Irving Park Road. That's a newbie's bar uh, this Saturday. And then uh, November 28th, we're going to be at Grace Street Tap. And I think we're going to be back here on Intellectual Radio with Miss Nikki and the owner from, uh, ooh. Well, oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said, you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. Ooh, ooh, shut up. And dance with me. All right, you got it. We were victims of the night, the chemical, physical kryptonite, helpless to the date in the fading light. Oh, we were bound to get together, bound to get together. She took my arm. I don't know how it happened. We took the floor and she said, Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said, You're holding back. She said, Shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. Ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. Backwoods dress and some beat up sneaks My discotheque Juliet's teenage dream I felt it in my chest as she looked at me Oh, we were bound to get together, bound to get together She took my arm, I don't know how it happened We took the floor and she said Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me I said, you're holding back She said, shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny Ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. I'm done, dude. That was that was that's fun. That was that was that was a uh, preemptive strike there. Yes, that was preemptive strike. There. All right, we're wrapping it up, guys and girls. Thank you so much for letting us come out here today, Earl, Miss Nikki. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're doing really well. You have been listening to LOL with Miss Nikki on IntellectualRadio.com. Peace.